Hello, hello everyone, welcome to another Fallout 76 video. What's the maximum carry weight I can go for and how to get there? I'm about to show you everything. It has been a while since you guys asked me to do a guide on how to get as much carry weight as I usually do. So normally I go for 400 or even 500 carry weight in a normal day, but that's not so easy to get, especially if you are playing a new character or if you have just started the game. There's a lot of things you need to do in order to get a steady carry weight that high, but you can go much higher actually if you stretch the lines. And I'm going to do it exactly in this video. First, I'm going to show you how to get there, what's viable in a normal playthrough, and well, how much further can you go? I didn't know myself, so I decided to do this sort of guide as well as a challenge because when I started doing this, I had no idea what was the limit, at least for me. You can go even further than what I did, but that's all I could get for the time being. Moving on, let's start from the very bottom. I will show you how to get some inventory space by adding a mod to your gear as well as what to do with your backpack. Let's do this. All right, another day in Fallout 76, and this is my carry weight. As I mentioned before, it is 400 to 500, depending on my radiation levels. And I will show you my gear. I'm using a full wielding set. It's a little bit better right now than here because I updated some pieces. But as you can see, every piece gives me 10 carry weight. Another thing that really boosts your carry weight is strength and when you are using an unwielding build, your strength will go up really, really hard when your rods are high. Yeah, it can be way higher than this. As you can see, my HP is about off in here, but that is a realistic number to play and to fight whatever you see, because if you go lower than that, you'll probably die in one hit from any enemy basically. As for your backpack, you should have a normal one, a standard one from the Pioneer Scouts, as well as a high capacity mod for this 120 carry weight total. If you don't have a standard backpack, you can always go for the small one while you farm for the ideal scenario here. Now that you know how to boost your carry weight by about 200 just with gear and the backpack, what about perks? What perks can you use to boost your inventory space? Let's start with the strength part. And the most permanent perk here is strong back. You can get it to rank four. It's a decent amount of carry space, 40. It costs four points, but sometimes it's really worth to have it equipped. Especially when you are over encumbered, if you equip this perk, you will most likely be able to move in a few clicks. That's always a bonus. Then you have perks like Traveling Pharmacy, there are many others in Strength, like Bear Arms, uh, Martial Artist in Bandolier. These perks don't exactly increase your inventory space, they make it more optimal. In other words, they allow you to carry more with the same amount of carry weight. Finally, we have Radical, which can get you up to 5 strength depending on your radiation levels, and Solar Powered, which gives you up to 3 strength and endurance during a daytime. So that's pretty much all the perks you have to boost your strength and your carry weight with it. But if you want to stretch this and use some drinks, for example, I suggest you to equip Party Girl or Boy for what's coming next. What else can increase your carry weight or your strength? Let's start with drinks. There are tons of ordinary drinks that can boost your strength, like whiskey or even vodka. That's something that you find all across Appalachia. But there is one specific drink that you can craft that will increase your carry weight drastically. It's called the Rad and Larger. It is a bit difficult to craft, but it's worth it if you are looking to increase your carry weight by 50 points. In terms of foods, there are several that can boost your carry weight too, but the best one I found is called 
the smoked mirluk filet. It is also not the easiest dish to craft, but A, it's all up to you. It's 30 more points for your inventory space, so it's totally up to you how you want to play. Let's do some gathering and crafting now. For the ash roses, I suggest you to equip the green top to get double gathering and head to Lewisburg, where you can easily find rose ashes on the top of a building. If you don't have marsupial, you should probably take the stairs all the way in. In my case, I just need to take off the stairs and then I can jump. And you can see some ash roses in these canteers. And then you can find the rest of the roses inside this small shack across the bridge. It is plenty to craft a few filets, at least. Next, you should go to an area with marlocks like Query X3. Normally we'll find Merlocks here, it's not 100% though. It is for the queen in the lake, but the minions don't always spawn. So feel free to head to any other location that you know and have Merlocks. The mire and the cranberry bog are full of them. Finally, for the salt, I suggest you to head here to the white powder winter sports because you can usually find three salt flasks inside on top of the tables. Just search around, turn on your light if it's night, and you should see them right away. They are very difficult to miss. And then you just need some water from a water source, boil it with wood, and you have everything you need. As you can see, it's really not that difficult to gather the materials you need. Head back to a cooking station. Don't forget to equip your super duper for an increased chance of getting more profit every time you craft something. Go to foods and look for the filet, because that's exactly what we want here. Then feel free to use them as you play. It's up to you when it's the right time. How can you craft a rod larger? Well, you're going to need and meat, nuclear material, corn and some boiled water. I suggest you to come here to the Thunder Mountain substation in the Watauga region because it's a fixed spawn for ants. Yes, that's right. If you don't find any, just serve a jump or go to the next location here at the bootleggers shack. It's a little bit to the north and you can sometimes find ants inside or around the shack. It's not 100%, but it is worth checking if you are having issues with the first location. Where to find corn? The nearby farms are at the Sunday Brothers cabin. It is a very small farm though, so it might not have enough corn for you. You can always sever jump, or then you can go a little bit to the south to the General Steak House. It has a giant farm and it has more than enough corn for you. So make sure to go there if the first one is not big enough for you. Lastly, where can you find nuclear material? Well, here at the Big Bend Tunnel, you can usually find a decent amount of nuclear waste, but for some reason I couldn't really find it. I tried three servers and nope. But it shouldn't be an issue for you because whenever you kill a glowing enemy, you have a chance to get nuclear waste. So just go around, kill them and collect as much as you need. You've got everything, now it's time for some crafting. Don't forget your super duper perk and it's time to boil water. Just get it raw and then boil it with some wood. Should be simple enough. Then head to a brewing station and it's time to get your rod larger for that 50 points on the carry weight. It really makes a difference if you are looking to stretch your inventory as much as possible. Now, just a quick reminder for those with gear without deep pocket mods, I won't be mentioning where to get each type of mod because it depends on your armor type. For example, for the scout armor, you can now get the mods from the Enclave Bunker at the Armory and it really makes a difference and it's very reliable to play with this on every day, really. It boosts your inventory drastically, but it doesn't work inside power armor, so keep that in mind. I have everything I need to start this challenge, so I am boosting my inventory as much as possible. Let's start with maximizing the brads. You can go to any area with radiation like barrels or toxic water. 
Just submerge yourself and wait for the bar to slowly rise. Just don't get distracted or you will eventually die. Rats checked. Now let's look for a weapon with strength. I was lucky enough to find one. It's my only one actually, this axe. And that will boost my inventory by 5 points. Better than nothing. If you have gear with strength, then it's a plus with the pocket. It's really, really powerful in terms of inventory space. We are getting there and it's time to get some buffs out of the stash. I will go for some buffats because it really boosts my strength and that's all we want here. Buffs that boost every stat is good too, like excels, but it's totally up to you what to choose. I got my filet, I got my rod antler. It's time to consume everything and see how much carry weight we can go for. We are already at 600, now 665, with above 675. And I don't think I can bust it any further. I have a food, I have a drink, I have a buff, I have my backpack with high capacity, I have my wielding. Uh, gear with deep pocket, I have a weapon with one strength, I have max rads on myself, I had all the perks I mentioned before, strong back, radical, and sun powered. So I don't think there is anything else I can do right now to boost my strength or my carry weight. I mean, if I could get gear with strength, then we would probably get to 700 but I don't have it. I only have with charisma and luck in my stash. That's the highest I can go for, guys. 775 carry weight. That's a lot. That's really a lot. It's basically most of the storage space right now. We have 800 before we had a little bit less. So it's extraordinary because you can go even further than this if you manage to get strength in your gear. I mean, this is not reliable to play every day because you need to keep using these food, drinks and buffs, but just with the normal gear, the backpack and the perks, you can get close and that's not difficult to do, honestly. So that's how you can get so much carry weight. That's basically my secret. Moreover, I want to leave a small note here about the rad larger. It gives 50 carry weight and then when it expires, it removes 50 points in carry weight. So if you are using this and your carry weight just went down a lot, check your effects bar. It's probably because of this. That's it, I have just revealed my secrets on how to go around with so much carry weight all the time. I mean, normally it's much lower as you saw, but I decided to do this challenge and to stretch uh, everything to see how much I could go for. I actually got surprised, I didn't think I could get past 550 maybe, and we reached almost 700, that's crazy. And we could go even further if we had the right gear. Anyway guys, what did you think about this challenge and did I miss something? Are there any other ways to boost your inventory space that I missed? Do let me know in the comment section below, I'm curious. That's going to be everything for this video, I'm Marta Branco, thank you so much for watching. If you are new around, I do Fallout 76 content, especially patch notes and guides. Also, I have a Patreon page for anyone who would like to support me even further. Feel free to check the link down below. Until then, take care guys, adios, bye bye.